Hello, everybody, and welcome to Fan Dummies. I'm Aaron. I'm Greg. Today, we're going to talk about season one of Upload. Nice. We are going to talk about what it's about, the characters, the social implications. Greg will probably make lewd comments about the sex suit. Oh, you know that's coming. And reduce Nathan's life down to a very handy pro-con list. Got to be organized. (laughs) I can't even say this intro without laughing. (laughs) It's going to be a fun show. For our patrons, we look at the tech in the show and talk about people building this stuff in real life. Yeah, we got some energy vampire action. (laughs) (laughs) How close are we to being able to upload? Become a patron to find out. Ooh. Yeah. Only the, the real answers to life are in the Patreon section. <laughs> the real talk. Real talk. <laughs> If you're new to fan dummies, we talk about superheroes, science fiction, and fantasy, TV and movies every week. Hit that subscribe button to join the fan dummies family. Yeah, hit that thing. Come on. Here's the little subscribe graphic. Yeah, exactly. Like, comment, subscribe. Hit that little bell. If you are watching on YouTube, hit the subscribe button. And Aaron just told you to hit. Hit that bell. Hit the bell. Hit that like button. Just click everything on YouTube. Because our videos come out later in the week. So if you want them earlier in the week, you have to do the opposite of what we're telling all of our podcaster people to do. (laughs) If you're watching on YouTube, you have to go to the podcast on a podcast app and hit the subscribe button. You'll get it a couple days earlier. Takes us a while to edit the video and, you know, make it special. You can do that on any podcast app. We'll put the links to everything in the details in the description. This is a special podcast today. Very it is special. our 100th episode. Nice. Can you believe we've gotten to 100? <laughs> yes. I hope we can do 200 and 300 and 400. But now that it comes out every week, going from 100 to 200 is going to be 100 weeks from now, two years. Oh, wow. It only took us one year to get to 100. It'll take us an additional two years to get to 200. That's just maths. Just maths. <laughs> well, thank you for taking this journey with us. Lots of things have changed in the 100 episodes, but we're still here and we know you are too. We appreciate it so much. Yeah. So, Greg, what is Upload? It's a show you can watch on Amazon Prime because, you know, we love our streaming. It was created by Greg Daniels, and he's the executive producer along with Howard Klein. Now, these folks might sound familiar because Daniels has also created The Office, the U.S. version, the good version. (laughs) Space Force eh, and Parks and Rec. Parks and Rec (laughs) is amazing. It's supposed to be a comedy like those other shows, but eh, it's more heartfelt and romantic mm-hmm. and, and a little bit sad. Kind of sad, right? A little bit, but if you think of it as a comedy and you think of it as sci-fi, it's not real sad, I don't think. That's how it made it on Fan Dummies, because it's sci-fi and we do superhero sci-fi and fantasy. So it's right up our alley. It's totally up my alley, mm-hmm. for sure. Like. Just the idea of Upload, so cool to me. So what is season one about? A man is able to choose his own afterlife after his untimely death by having his consciousness uploaded into a virtual world. Woo! I mean, (laughs) that is super cool to me. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's got a really neat concept. RIP headphone users. (laughs) (laughs) As he gets used to his new life and befriends his angel, which is his real world handler, questions about his death arise. This is where it gets like a little mystery in in there as well. Yeah. So what is the upload? Well, before you die, you have to choose to be uploaded. Mm -hmm. So if you die first, you're just screwed. You're dead. You have to be alive to be uploaded. I'm sure everyone remembers the movie Transcendence with Johnny Depp. Mm -hmm. 
in that movie, he uploads to be like a super controlling AI and like, I don't know if he, he doesn't really try to take over the world, but he, he gets pretty he, like possessive yeah. and like evil. That's all I kind remember. Of megalomaniac. Yeah. <laughs> Well, basically, scientists make a digital backup of your brain and turn you into a program that runs on a computer. I just don't want them to turn me into Microsoft Excel. Like anything but that. You could be the little paperclip that pops up in Word oh, to help you. <laughs> terrible. What if you're the helper on the holodeck? Would you like that? Yeah, I would go crazy like on Lower Decks. <laughs> in this show upload, companies make virtual reality retirement communities and create avatars that look exactly like you did when you were alive, which is cool. I guess it's cool. It's lax imagination. Yeah. I mean, I want to be a dragon. Yeah. Well, I like playing Pokemon Go and you get to like pick your avatar or like Animal Crossing Pocket Camp. I play that. Yeah. And it's fun because you can like totally make yourself like you can you give yourself pink hair. You can do whatever you want. So it's kind of fun to do something different, I think. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> But there's a place called Lakeview Okay, that's in the upload, and that's probably the nicest place to be uploaded. Like, that's where most people, I think, want to go. It's kind of like a retirement community, mm -hmm. really. I guess if you like living on the lake. Yeah. The cool thing is, is that uploaded people can communicate with the living, mm -hmm. which is really freaky. And they do it through, like, FaceTime or with virtual reality. Think of it like being out of town or on vacation. Except you're dead and you can never leave. It's the Hotel California of retirement communities. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's a crazy concept when you think about it. Yeah. Well, let's talk about the main characters in Upload. Yeah, let's do it. There's Nathan Brown. He's played by Robbie Amell, which we recently have talked about Robbie because he was in the Code 8 movie with his cousin Stephen Amell. Yeah. And everybody knows Stephen Amell. He plays the arrow in the cw's arrow show yep. i guess that's over now but we did do a episode about code eight and that was episode 69 so you can go back and and listen to us gush gush about steven and robbie yep code <laughs> eight movie was fun yeah yeah another sci-fi mm -hmm. movie too Kinda like a superhero movie or a supervillain movie. yeah but you might have seen robbie play Ronnie Raymond, mm -hmm. Firestorm, Duststorm in the CW's The Flash show. Yep. He was pretty good in that. I like I like the character. And Greg and I like him from the Tomorrow People show that was also on the CW. It was so good. Yeah. I kind of understand where that show went. Yeah. I really like it. I just like the idea of being able to like disappear and appear anywhere you want. Yeah. Yeah. It's neat. There's also Nora Anthony who is played by Andy Allo, and you might have seen her in a couple of episodes of Black Lightning, mm -hmm. which is cool. She's also a singer and has some albums and a YouTube channel, which we will link to. You can check out her videos and her songs, and maybe Aaron will put in a picture of her I took while we were doing our notes. We were watching Andy Allo on YouTube. Yeah. Yeah. I liked her music. It was really great. Mm -hmm. Like, it totally changes what you think about these people when you see what they do in real life. Yeah. I always like the multi-talented actors. Like, mm -hmm. you know, they're not just into acting, they're into, you know, singing, songwriting and, you know, whatever other fun stuff that they do in life. It's always neat to learn more about them. Agree. There's also Ingrid Kanerman and she's played by Allegra Edwards. And the biggest thing she's been in probably is Briar Patch on the USA network. And we haven't watched that, but no, that's not our thing, but she was in it. For a few episodes, at least. Yeah, quite a few, actually. Mm -hmm. There's also Alicia, Nora's co-worker, and she's Luke's handler. And we're going to talk about Luke here next. She, she's my favorite character yeah. in the show, I just want to say. <laughs> and when we get into the pro-con list, I might put Alicia in the pro list. Uh-oh. <laughs> she's super cool. I love her sass. Yeah, yeah. She's played by Zainab Johnson. And she was a semi-finalist on season eight of Last Comic Standing, what? which I thought was kind of fun. We need to watch that. <laughs> yeah. So she's kind of a comedian. I get, so she's a comedian as well as were you, an actor. Were you going to say she's kind of funny, but yeah. she's not as funny as the other people in the Last Comic Standing? <laughs> no, I wasn't going to say that. <laughs> that but... is so mean, Aaron. <laughs> that is ridiculous. <sighs> Zainab's watching this. She's just, obviously she's still a fan of me, but 
She's probably not a fan of you now. Well, she did advance as a semifinalist. Yeah. If you didn't catch that by Griggs. She's pretty good is what you're saying. <laughs> but she was named Variety's 10 Comics to Watch for 2019. I thought that was yeah. pretty she, neat too. She's hilarious, honestly. Uh-huh. Like all joking aside, like she's the funniest person in this whole show. Yeah. Is she Maybe she's the comedy. <laughs> <laughs> she must be. <laughs> They're like, we need some comedy. <laughs> Speaking of Luke, he's played by Kevin Brigley. And you might have seen him on the Dilemma movie, and he does a voice in the Angry Birds movie. What is it like? Ah! Crash. I don't know. I didn't see the Angry Birds movie. (laughs) I just picked that because I think it's cute. I like the Angry Birds. I completely forgot the Angry Birds existed. Uh I played that. I probably wore the tip of my finger off (laughs) playing that game. It was so fun. Wait, do they still make that? I have no idea. I used to love the Angry Birds Star Wars oh, yeah, edition. For sure. <laughs> but yeah, Luke is Nathan's like BFF, I guess, in the upload. Forcibly. Right? Yeah. Yeah. He he becomes Nathan's friend. And Nathan didn't really want any friends. <laughs> I guess Luke needed a friend. Yeah. There's also Dylan, he's played by Reese Slack. And we have seen him as a bratty kid in DC's Legends of Tomorrow, which I don't remember him. Do you? I mean, I didn't see him, but I will say that bratty kids are invisible to me. <laughs> <laughs> His character is kind of funny because I guess he he passed away when he was young. You're like 10. Yeah. And he's never aged. and His mom like won't buy him the, like, up, what do you call it? The upgraded avatar. Up, yeah. <laughs> Can you imagine? He's, I guess he's been there like nine years or something. It's been a while. He's 19. So it's like this 10 year old kid, like going up to girls. (laughs) Hey, did you just get here? (laughs) And he's so jealous because his brother is like a teenager and dating girls and stuff and in life. And he's just like, come on, mom. (laughs) Can you imagine the torture that would be like living in Lakeview? Where you can call home. Mm-hmm. And what if people don't answer the phone? Like, you, <gasps> you, you, there's nothing you can do. You know, you see all your loved ones like move on without you. Like, they get older, they like different things. Like, it sounds like torture. Yeah, yeah. Could happen. Mm-hmm. But he's also got like a game mode that he's enabled in Lakeview. And he's always like fighting the AI, like a, like kind of like a Street Fighter yeah. game or something. Yeah, exactly. It's pretty fun. Yeah, that's cool. So who's the AI? Well, the AI is played by Owen Daniels. You might recognize the last name because he's the son of Greg Daniels. Oh, yeah. Creator. And we just saw him in Space Force, episode 81. I love how this show ties everything together. Like We've got <laughs> two other shows where we reference these people. Yeah. It's great. It's pretty crazy because I think this show came out before Space Force, Mm -hmm. but not too... Right around the same time. Yeah, right around the same time. And they're both Mm -hmm. by Greg Daniels, so he must be busy. Busy. (laughs) Got to get that money. (laughs) Let's spend a couple minutes talking about the social implications of being able to upload instead of die. Deep. How do you feel about a corporation controlling your consciousness after you die? Someone has to keep paying for you to be alive in your upload or you have to have a lot of money in order to keep living. You know, they spent a little bit of time on this in the show Mm -hmm. and it's a tough question Mm -hmm. because no, I don't like anyone being in charge of my consciousness, but me, Mm -hmm. like if I'm a free independent person, then I'm in charge of my own destiny alive or dead. Now, the question is, is if you're dead, are you still a person? It's a good question. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. Uh, It's a little spooky to me to think that a corporation would be able to control your consciousness. But I think if if it was all about the money and then they were just like, you know, you can't pay, you can't do this, you're just, they'll cut you off. Mm -hmm. That's, you know, spooky to me. But I think if they were able to like work with you, And keep you alive, maybe give you, I don't know, like a way to like make money and contribute to the 
upload, I think that would be fine. It just depends how like hardcore they are, I think. Well, imagine it like this. Imagine if you were in the hospital on life support and you couldn't pay. Would yeah. they go turn you off? That's what I'm saying. Like it depends, like, do they give you like a few months? Like, do they go, Oh, here's a notice, you can't pay, you know? I'm gonna give you like five months until you're cut off so you can try to figure out how to get money. Or are they just like whoosh, done? <laughs> Next person. Good question. Do you think upload, if it existed in real life, should be a basic human right? I think we as a civilization would have to evolve to that level, yes. Eventually, think about it this way, there'd be more dead people than there would be living people. And you couldn't possibly continue paying for that. It would be eventually, there's no possible way that the people that are alive could pay for all the people that are dead. Yeah. What would happen is over the course of hundreds of years, there would be trillions of dead people in upload and probably only billions of alive people. So now who's more important? Like who's the majority? And who owns you? What if everyone can vote? Yeah. Right. And well, would uh, you still have politics? For sure. There's always going to be politics as long as there's people alive. But think about it this way. Does an upload care about the environment? Not at all. They don't breathe air. They don't care at all. Yeah. Right? So why would they want to pay taxes to save the environment? Just build a giant solar panel and put us on the moon. And now you're going deep. Going deep. <laughs> what do you think? I think if there ever was a possibility and people were open to it, I understand how there could be people who don't want to be uploaded just because of like the religious beliefs. Mm -hmm. But I think if everybody, you know, wants it, then they should have the right to have it. Yeah. I mean, it gets so complicated. Like, let me pose it to you this way. If your religious beliefs are such that you'll go somewhere when you mm -hmm. die, but trillions of people believe that you're just dying and you're not going anywhere, could they force you to upload to save your life? That deep again. <laughs> so deep. <laughs> they do touch on that a little bit in the show. Mm -hmm. Should I die and you know go be with Nora's dad? Was he's dying? So and Nora's trying to convince him to upload, but he wants to go to heaven. Yeah, you know to be with his wife, his wife exactly. or Nora's mom. So they do touch on that a little bit. I think these are these are questions that real life and real society we'd have to answer. Mm -hmm. You also have to remember that this is a sci-fi show. Yeah. And they're going to lean, you know, heavily to the science fiction of the show. So you just have to take it that way. Yeah. You know? Yeah. If you have beliefs in a certain way, mm -hmm. this show isn't going to like stomp all over them. Mm -mm. It, no. It really approaches them. Yeah. Uh, very cautiously and, and I think pretty balanced. Yeah. I mean, the, when the people are about to die. I mean, they have a right to choose. It's not like they're like, oh, you're being uploaded. Well, everybody, you know? everybody dies. That's the thing. Like, yeah. You have to pay to be uploaded. Yeah. Like, it's, a, yeah. It's, it's a privilege right now. Yeah. yeah. Who do you think would pay for it if you're being uploaded? I mean, that's a really great question. In the show, the family pays for it. Mm -hmm. but, but I think that's the worst possible outcome. I mean, imagine I died, right? You would basically live the rest of your life paying for me to continue to be alive? I mean, what if you got remarried or had kids with somebody else? Like you moved on with your life. Like you have, you have decades left on your life. It's just not fair to the other person. I don't think, or even, you know, like your parents, I just, I just don't think you should leave your parents with a giant bill. Imagine if your funeral cost a million dollars or $2 million. You had to finance it and leave that debt with your wife or husband. Yeah. You wouldn't do it. You wouldn't do it. And that's what I think this is. Like I wouldn't certainly do it. I, I wouldn't do it. Like if, if you had to pay for this, I wouldn't do it. <laughs> Great mix it all, but all weird in here. <laughs> but, but, I, but I hope you do pay for it. <laughs> <laughs> just take the life insurance and be like here take this back and pay to keep greg alive i'll just like adopt like 10 cats and 10 dogs and have you live virtually <laughs> <laughs> 
this is this is the problem with this show, right? It's supposed to be a comedy. Like fan dummies is supposed to be funny, right? But this is how the show is. Yeah. Yeah, but it's not it's not like like you don't sit there and you're sad. It's kinda I mean it has kind of like yeah, it covers sad parts. This, it covers the stuff. It's kinda like but, watching The Walking Dead. Like it has that yeah. like people could die any minute, you know, type of feel. Or people are deceased, you know, it has that feel to it. But it's not like you don't sit there and like cry or anything. It's no. just it's just not funny funny. I do I do love the idea of living forever though. Like for some reason I've all like even when I was young, I just dream of living forever. Like just it just you could freeze your head. Is that what they did? I'm gonna talk about that in the Patreon section. <sighs> <laughs> the whole time we were watching the show, I kept thinking, like, isn't there a way that the people in the upload can make their own money? Like like I play Pokemon Go. Like you can leave your Pokemon at the gyms and you get some coins in return. Mm-hmm. Or there's um like goals and stuff that you can do to get items in return. There's lots of games people play that you get currency. Currency in the games. Yeah. Like so they should do that in upload. Well, think about it this way. Every call center that you call into should be an upload. Like you can take calls. From the afterlife, you can make tons of money, like well, answering calls for AT and T. Yeah, but instead of yeah making money, they just make yeah. money to live. Like they just put it yeah. in the bank, yeah, exactly. and then that keeps them going. Yeah, like making license plates in prison. You can just paying for yourself. Yeah. Now we're talking. There's tons. There's <laughs> tons of things you can do. At my job, I don't leave the house. I ever do everything on Zoom. I could totally do that from the afterlife. Yeah, it's kind of freaky though, because you think of how many jobs that you'd be taking away from the people living. <laughs> yeah. And, and pretty soon you'll outnumber the people living. It's a, it's a tough thing. If there are more people who are dead than alive, how would that work? I think you will make things or do things for other uploads. So the consumers will grow. The number of consumers will grow mm-hmm. and the number of makers will grow. So if there's trillions of uploads, Perhaps there needs to be coders that are also upload to make virtual Ferraris and virtual houses. Yeah. It's like that, uh, what's that video game a long time ago, Second Life, where you could buy like a Mercedes, a virtual Mercedes from Mercedes. What? Yeah. Yeah. I don't know if that thing's still around, but like at least 10 years ago or maybe 15 years ago was a thing. What? Yeah. 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 Looking that up. Look it up. Look <laughs> it up. It might still be around. It was big. Really? Yeah. I will say it it seems like it can't be free, right? I think if it was free, people would upload when they like had a bad day. And be like, you know what? Pfft, I'm going to the lake forever. This is stupid. I'm gonna fish every day. If it's free, why not? Yeah. And then, then you're just a drain on society. You don't contribute at all. You can't have trillions of people con- being a drag on society mm-hmm. and then millions of people contributing. It just doesn't work. Mm-hmm. That is a story that it was going on in Upload. Nathan and his business partner were trying to make the free Upload mm-hmm. the society. Op- yeah, the, the open-, open source version yeah, yeah. of Upload. Yeah. Which is the future, obviously. It has to be. Like you have to be able to augment it yourself. Like if you want wings and you can code, code yourself up some wings. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The funny part was Nathan was trying to move away from Lakeview and pay for it on his own, I guess, because he couldn't afford Lakeview and and Ingrid was paying for him to be at Lakeview. And he went like on a little field trip to another upload program or whatever and it was so janky. It was really bad. <laughs> it was like, wait, you want me to live in the plains of Africa in the heat? He's like, yeah, it's a, it's a safari all the time. Is there mosquitoes? Well, it's realistic. It's like, so <laughs> you want me to get eaten by mosquitoes for my afterlife? <laughs> Wasn't it fun. like shot by a drone and they couldn't zoom in or yeah, something? <laughs> yeah. They're like, zoom in. Oh, I can't, I can't do that. So who knows how actually realistic it is Like once they get there? So you, you have to kind of go to Lakeview. Yeah. Before we get into the love triangle, if you would like to support Fan Dummies, 
check out our Patreon, sign up to our superhero tier, and get early access, ad-free, and extended episodes, both audio and video. Nice. Just go to patreon.com forward slash fandummies or click the link in the show notes. Click that sucker. (laughs) Yeah, the videos are up there now. Mm Mm-hmm. Well, from this point on, there's going to be huge spoilers, and we're really going to ramp this up. Huge. Huge spoilers. Huge. I mean, not like we haven't talked about spoilers before, but... Yeah, we haven't. Like, our spoilers up to now were mild. Yeah. But now we're getting into it. Yeah. The core story of Upload is a love triangle between Nathan, Ingrid, and Nora. Mm. Like a... Like a menage a trois? No. Oh. I mean, I don't know what goes on behind the scenes, maybe. No, I mean, <laughs> I, I think it's more like Nathan has to pick one. <laughs> they both like him. Yeah, yeah. Boring. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> kidding, kidding. It's what makes the show good. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Nathan's trying to get free of Ingrid because he doesn't love her. And you see that he doesn't really love her before he dies either, but he kind of just stuck with her. Yeah, I don't think he n- knows her, but we'll talk. We'll talk more yeah, about this. Yeah, if he leaves Ingrid, he's also going to lose her money and have to leave Lakeview. See, so you need the money to stay alive. Get that money, Nathan. Yeah, Nora could come visit him in another upload. But he doesn't really know Nora. Yeah. I mean, he he knows her because the Lakeview Angel thing. Mm -hmm. But, like, he hasn't gone on many dates with her. Like, just, he's only done a few things with her. Like, one hand touch, pretty much. And he talks to her. But it's really very new. Mm -hmm. It's a brand new, new relationship. Yeah, yeah. And right now they're just friends. So the big question is, should Nathan choose Ingrid or take a chance on Nora? Well, I mean, I think the only reasonable thing to help Nathan decide (laughs) would be to create a pro-con list. Yes. And I have a feeling people are going to be super salty about this list. Uh (laughs) Uh-oh. Because we're going to. We're going to get down to the real talk, and it's going to be fun. We're just basing it on what happens in the show. Things that happen in the show, it's not meant to be reality. So chillax. <laughs> Put on your big person pants, and let's make a list. <laughs> All right, Aaron. How are we doing this? First on the list is money. Well, we know Nora doesn't have any. Yeah. Yeah, her family has no money. But Ingrid's family, they're pretty rich. Yeah, they're loaded. Uh Uh-huh. I think think we got to give this one to Ingrid. Yeah, for sure. Okay. Second is humor. Ingrid doesn't strike me as very funny. Mm Mm-mm. And Nora played a bunch of pranks on Nathan. Like he fell into the water. She told him to walk on water. Like all sorts of funny stuff. Yeah, twice. (laughs) She made his hair flip up. Oh, yeah. Um, She's definitely the funnier one, don't you Yeah, think? yeah. Give that one to Nora. Yeah. What about her office mate? She's not on the pro-con list. Thank <laughs> goodness for Nora. <laughs> and Ingrid, really. <laughs> How about family? Yeah, whenever you are picking a spouse... The in-laws make a difference. Mm -hmm. And if you're trying to pick between two people, you know, you have to take that into consideration. Now, this is tricky. It is? Oh, yeah. I I could just pick one right off the bat. Who would you pick? Nora. Her mom is dead and her dad's about to die. True. Yeah. Yeah, but Ingrid's family is horrible. But they're rich. True, but Nathan's going to need that money to keep going in the afterlife. That's, so that is true, but they're I'm just so like mean. Since we already have a money category, 
then I will say that Nora's father is much nicer than Ingrid's father. Mm -hmm. So we'll give this one to Nora. What's next? Love for Nathan. Ooh, which one loves him more? I don't know. This is a hard one. Because <laughs> Ingrid wanted him to go into the upload so she could keep him like as her own forever. No, it wasn't that at all. No? No. To keep him safe. Keep him safe. Her dad was trying to kill him because he's an investor in Lakeview. And Nathan was creating that free version of the upload. So she really loves him. Yeah. But don't you think the fact that she was trying to save him and keep him in the upload that she does really like him? That's what I'm saying. She yeah. really loves him. Like, yeah. I don't think Nora even loves Nathan yet. I think it's too soon. I think she likes him, but I don't know if it's love. Yeah. Yeah. I would, yeah, I'd probably have to, I don't know. I might have to pick. Ugh. Don't let your bias. This is a pro con list. You're not supposed to let your biases. Everybody welcome Clover to the podcast. Yeah. <laughs> it's her birthday today. Nice. She's sitting here so funny. <laughs> I guess. I don't know. I might have to pick. It's got to be Ingrid. Ingrid. Ingrid worships Nathan. It just seems like the longer that Nathan is in the upload, though, that she kind of gets a little bit more distant, I think, from him. I, I don't think that she's communicating as well as she should. I yeah. think that's what it boils down to. And I'm giving it to Ingrid. Ingrid? Yeah. Okay. Let's do two Ingrids then. Who does Nathan's family like more? Well, this is easy because they hate Ingrid. So they this is Nora for sure because they met her when she went to the Los Angeles place, upload place. Remember? Yeah, she was trying to help out. Yeah, yeah. And, and Nathan's mom met her and really liked her. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And she yeah. hates Ingrid. Yeah. Another thing, though, is I think Nathan's mom only hates Ingrid because she doesn't really know her. And I don't think Nathan really knows Ingrid, too. Mm -mm. Yeah, she doesn't seem like that bad of a person. Like, she was trying to friend, was it Nathan's niece? Yeah. And she seemed pretty sweet to her, I thought. Yeah, very sweet. So maybe she is a good person deep down. It's just we don't see that. We kind of see, like, the superficial. I think she can't let her guard down. Because her family's so screwed up. Like she has to really, really like be the, the rich daughter. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But obviously we have to give this one to Nora. Yeah, I think Nora. <laughs> okay. What about personality? I might have to pick Nora. I don't think we've seen Ingrid's real personality. I think we've seen her fake personality. And honestly, I don't like Nora's... Like her approach to sex. I hate to say it that way, oh, but yeah. she like dials up like that dude and just, she just totally plays him and like runs over his heart. And well, to be fair, he was, it's, I know it goes the, both ways at first, but then he ended up liking Nora. I know. But and, then and Nora was like, no, I like Nathan. Another triangle right there. <laughs> yeah. 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 I think deep down, Nora probably has the better personality, but she has some personality traits that I don't like. Mm -hmm. And you know, I think she's pushy with her dad because she believes one way and he believes a different way. Like she wants to be able to be with family, I think, because I think she believes that she's going to go to the upload, yeah, you know, eventually too. So she doesn't want to be by herself. Yeah. Right. So we give this to Nor Nora or Ingrid? Nora. I think Nora. I think Nora does have the better personality, even though neither one of them are perfect. They're both yeah, flawed. Yeah. Even at the beginning, you see Nora like steal her boss's coffee. Like she's got. Yeah, she's a not good side too. Yeah, she's definitely not uh, perfect. Mm -mm. That's one thing I really like about this show. Is it's not easy. Yeah, she doesn't seem happy at the beginning. Mm -mm. Our last pro con question. Is who is more attractive? I know people are going to be salty about this question, but there has to be an element of attraction 
mm-hmm. in any relationship. Now, I'm weird because when I watch these shows, people get more and less attractive as I like them more or less in the show, <laughs> which I know is really weird. And maybe it's like that in real life too. I don't know. But I think Ingrid is like supermodel attractive. She's really, really attractive. But it's, it seems like it's a lot of makeup and a lot of pampering. Mm-hmm. And I will say like, it grossed me out when she sharpened her shoulder blades. It's like, gross to me that that's even a thing. She People went, don't do that in real life, do they? I don't have any idea. <laughs> She went from like a nine to like an, an eight or a seven instantly when she did that. And, and it just really grossed me out when she was being nice to the niece. Mm-hmm. She went from back up to, from like a seven to an eight. Yeah. And she was really like when she's in her pajamas, I thought, man, that Ingrid is really pretty, mm-hmm. you know, and she's being really sweet and she went up and then the same thing happened to me with Nora. Like when she was, you know, tendering it up or whatever. I thought, ugh, this girl, like, not good. Yeah. And then when she was in her, like, avatar, Mm -hmm. the upload, when she was, like, wearing makeup and a cute outfit, I thought, oh, man, like, like, Nathan should pick her. Uh She's way cuter than Ingrid. I have to pick Ingrid. I think Ingrid is more attractive than Nora. What do you think? I don't know. They're both. I don't know. You can you can override or tie or they make up Ingrid, I guess, to make to make her look like she's more. Su- she's supposed to be, yeah, more attractive. Yeah, more attractive. And Nora, I mean, they don't really do much with her. She kind of has like short hair. It's kind of cut a little goofy. I don't know. Like she looks more like just an everyday type of woman that you know gets up goes to work yeah but ingrid actually looks like she spends a lot of time like putting makeup on and she's got fancy doing her clothes. hair and her clothes and stylish and yeah so i guess ingrid yeah it comes off as being more attractive in the show yeah i will say this though i think nathan thinks ingrid is hot like, yeah you see him say at the beginning i think that right. he just like you know like, like she's just like, hot yeah 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 she was like a piece of jewelry to yeah him. i will say this when I saw Andy Allo mm-hmm. YouTube stuff, mm-hmm. I thought, holy smokes. Yeah. I mean, she, yeah, she looks more like Ingrid then. That's what <laughs> yeah, I'm saying. Yeah, she looks like Ingrid. Yeah, She's like, like she, supermodel hot. Yeah, like, does like really makeup attractive. and has a good haircut. and Yeah. Singing. Mm-hmm. Like, pff, man, it was something. Yeah. Uh, but I think based on the show and what we see. Yeah. We have to base this on the show. This is not, not our own real thoughts. Life. Yeah. This question really is, is who do we think Nathan thinks is more attractive? Mm-hmm. He definitely thinks Ingrid's more attractive than Nora, but he thinks you can tell he's attracted to Nora, but it's her personality that, that he's into big time. Mm -hmm. Someone that's there for him as well. I think he's always like angel. She like pops out, you know, Yeah, he's not used to, I think having that relationship with another woman like that. A real relationship. he, He may have never had a real relationship. Like it's all about, communication and and being there for each other and it grows it doesn't like i think he's in lust with ingrid Mm -hmm. and he could be in love with with nora the final answer based on our comprehensive analysis nora he should be with nora the bad part is ingrid uploaded like the last (laughs) few seconds of season one i know that's what makes it so good i mean Nathan hasn't seen our pro con list because he's a fictional character on Amazon prime, (laughs) but I think he came to this same conclusion Mm -hmm. that he wanted to be with Nora. I really thought we were making this pro con list. We didn't put our answers in here. We came up with them Mm -hmm. on the fly, but I really thought it would come out Ingrid and people would just be mad like in the comments. (laughs) Yeah. I think if you watch the show, I think it makes sense. I'd like to know who would pick Ingrid though. Like she definitely has, is in love with him. Yeah. Like yeah. crazy in love. I bet there's people out in the world that are pro Ingrid. Yeah, I think so. The data doesn't lie. No, the pro con <laughs> list has, has served its purpose. <laughs> in the Amazon show upload, Nathan, who is dead and uploaded and Ingrid, who is alive and in the real world have a relationship. Yes, they do. How can a person be living 
and then the person be dead and have a relationship. Do we think it's even possible? Well, I mean, if we break down like what a relationship is, I mean, they can communicate. Mm -hmm. They can interact with each other in virtual reality. Right? They can sit on the couch next to each other. They can watch shows together. Right? Trust would be tough because it's like a long distance relationship. And over time, you'll have to have separate lives. Mm -hmm. I mean, you'll meet people the other people don't know. You know, you're, I mean, how do you go on dinner, dinner dates with, with another couple? Be tough. Like, you could probably go see a movie, but everybody would have to be in VR. Instead of just like going to the movie theater yeah. and going to dinner, right? It's like very inconvenient for everybody that's alive. Yeah. It's not easy when you start like breaking it down. No, you got to really, you got to really think about it. Yeah. It would be weird if one person dies and maybe like 20 or 30 years later, the other person dies because when you die and they make your avatar, it's based on like what you look like, like at that second, which is weird to me. It's like, why can't you pick a picture in your time, like in your life and go, I want to look like what I did, you know, when I was 30. I think they did that because of the actors, honestly, just oh. for the show. <laughs> in real life, you'd be able to pick whatever avatar that you want. Well, that would make more sense because then you could live your life, you know, beyond the person that you know that has died. And then you could have your avatar made and it would look like you, that that person would remember, I guess. Yeah. And like, and who wants to live out their life? I think when you're really yeah, like old. If, if if you're 80 and you decide to be uploaded, you're gonna want to be uploaded at 25. Yeah, I mean that just makes sense to like me. Like when you can move around and do stuff and yeah, and if you think about it, like remember when they were in that mixer up on the roof or whatever, <laughs> and the girls were in VR, but they were From, mixing, uh -huh. and it turned out that they were actually like dudes. Oh yeah, in the girls you don't avatar, know who they like are. Yeah, catfishing people. That's the only problem. Right. Like you could, but maybe that's good. You could be anything you wanted when you died. Maybe you could be multiple things. Maybe you could live life as an animal, as different people, as yeah. it might be pretty. Anything that you want. Yeah. It might be a good way to, to spend eternity. You know, you spend a hundred years as a girl, you spend a hundred years as a guy, you spend a hundred years as a dog, you know, a, a, a dragon might be kind of fun. They'll have to have like view the fantasy edition. Exactly. <laughs> like a Star Wars. That would be like, exactly. Instead of a therapy dog, I would have a therapy baby Yoda. Yeah. Yeah. Like maybe, maybe I have to spend a hundred years as a stormtrooper. All right. Doing the bidding of the first order. It's a lot of work. <laughs> I know. I'd be like Finn. I would just be out. <laughs> just be out. Like anybody drive a TIE fighter? What about sexy time? Ooh. Greg probably wants to talk about the sex suit. Oh, you know I want to talk about the sex suit. It sounds crude, but it's one of the interesting things about this show is that they've thought of a way for the living to have sexual relations with the dead. I mean, that's technically necromancing, I think. Necromancing? Necro necrophiliacs necrophiliacs necromance is like witchcraft <laughs> yeah that's when you <laughs> like magic. conjure the dead maybe it's a little of both this is different is necromancy and necrophilia it's weird because you basically put this suit on that has these like inflatable fingers all on the inside and you hook it up to water i guess to keep it warm and lubricated i don't know and you lay in a bathtub and this really moved Ingrid up like a, like 10 notches in my book, because to me, you have to really love somebody to put on that sex suit, lay in the bathtub in order to, to do something with a person in upload. You know what I'm saying? Like that's, that's serious business. Mm -hmm. And I don't really understand how it works. I think the technology, we did not put the t the sex suit technology in the Patreon section, by the way. I purposely <laughs> left it out. I don't even want to Google it. I don't want to understand if it's real. Uh, I, I don't want the ads on Amazon that I would see after looking something like that up. Think of your Facebook ads, exactly. your Instagram ads. But let me just say it like this. I don't understand how it works, but 
apparently it works. And I think sex is a part of a relationship. And if you're going to have a relationship with um, somebody uploaded, then, you know, this is going to be part of it. What do you think, Aaron? That's it. That's I it. don't have anything to input on that. <laughs> you, have no, you have no input? <laughs> it's weird. <laughs> The grossest part was when she went to go rent one. Oh, yeah. Don't talk about that. <laughs> like, I'm nervous about the sheets in hotel rooms. There's no way I'm renting a used sex suit. I don't care how clean it is. It's just weird. All right. That's enough on that. <laughs> well, it's gotten renewed for season two, which is exciting. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to watch it. I really liked this. Did you like this? Yeah, I enjoyed it. I looked forward to it. There were some cheesy parts for sure. Like when they would mix the company names in the future, it was like oh, yeah. Intel Ox- Oscar Mayer uh-huh. and like, it, it was just weird. Like there was a Taco Bell one. Yeah. Yeah. It was like. I think the show was supposed to take place in like 2033, yeah, right? Yeah. Which isn't that far away. Yeah. 13 years. So I think they're trying to. Make a point that like these companies could grow and merge. Yeah. And they could become different things because yeah. they're so powerful. Yeah. I mean, they're trying to make a meat suit to to download people into. And I guess you could make the joke that a human body is like bologna, Oscar Mayer yeah. bologna or Oscar Mayer hot dog. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. And that you need Intel in order to do the processing. So Intel Oscar Mayer makes sense. I don't know. Yeah. So what do you think is going to happen in season two? After you just said that they're working on downloading Mm -hmm. into a body. So after you get uploaded, they're trying to make like a clone, I guess, of you. Yeah. So that you can be downloaded back into life and live as that clone with your consciousness again. Yeah. I think they're going to figure that out. So they might. I think they're going to figure it out in season two. Yeah. They're going to, they're going to start downloading people. For sure. So that puts a whole nother spin on, like, will everybody just live in the upload? Will they want to come back to the real world? Why would you want to come back? Like, I can understand. Maybe Lakeview's not it. Like, the one guy that they were trying to download, like, he got back and he had more senses. Mm -hmm. So I think, you know, stuff like that that you you can't experience in the upload, but you can't experience in real life. Yeah, like, you can tell that it's not real Mm -hmm. like your digital self and what else what else do you think i we have a whole list ingrid committed suicide and uploaded herself we don't know how she got there the only way you can do it is by blowing up your head yeah but maybe something happened to her we don't know true we don't know how she got there we think she committed suicide i hope that she has a heart to heart with nathan and maybe they work it out i don't know i mean nathan needs money he, he's down in 2g right now <laughs> he ran out of minutes, minutes or- yeah yeah which is funny so he needs money <sighs> and i think what's going to happen is, is ingrid's going to tell him the truth and now that he can hack from inside the upload mm-hmm. and he's got all of his memories back he's going to He's going to cause a lot of trouble for a lot of people. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I think is going to happen. I think it's still going to be angst between Nora, Ingrid, and Nathan. Oh, yeah. For sure. Yeah. Especially because Nora's not going anywhere. Exactly. But I do think Nora, now that Ingrid is uploaded, I think Nora will back off. Yeah. I can't wait to see where that low triangle goes. I know. It's going to be good. (laughs) Are we going to see Nora's dad get uploaded? Or is he going to, you know, die and be with his wife? What do you think? I don't know. That's a hard one. Like, I'm rooting for him to go to the upload to be with Nora, but I'm also rooting for him, you know, die and hopefully he goes to heaven where he wants to. I think he's going to die. I don't think he's going to get uploaded. You don't think so? No, I don't think you can just change your mind on your fundamental life. Belief. Yeah. Yeah. Plus his wife is not an upload and you can tell he's still deeply in love with her. Yeah. Yeah. So any chance that he's going to see her again, he's going to take it. Mm-hmm. 
you know, he thinks it's the real upload is heaven mm-hmm. or his wife's waiting for him. Yeah. So sweet. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> there's no way if he uploads, I'll be shocked. Uh huh. Hopefully we get to find out what's going on with that beyond program that Jamie, who is Nathan's old business partner and Nathan were creating like that's going to be a game changer too for the uploads for like going there for free or is it actually free? It was free, but remember Nathan sold his code to Ingrid's dad. So I don't think the beyond company is going to make it because someone else started up his old company. Uh Uh-huh. Yeah. So I think it's too late for that. Yeah. But what will happen, I believe is that Nathan will team back up with his partner and try to take them down. Ooh. Do, do, do. Do, do, do. <laughs> That's a good one. Yeah. Yeah. Hopefully we find out who murdered Nathan, too. We definitely already know who murdered Nathan. Well, we know it was Ingrid's dad, but how, I guess, exactly. Or why. Or why. Well, we don't know if he actually did sell the code. We only know that he decided to sell it. Yeah, maybe Nathan... He backed out at the last minute. Yeah, maybe he backed out at the last minute and was... That's what and got him his murdered. dad got mad, yeah. 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 Maybe he tried to pay Jamie off, and they were like, we need Nathan out of the picture in order to do that. Hopefully, it's not as obvious as it is right now. Yeah. <laughs> well, anything else you want to say about Upload? I was shocked at how good it was. I honestly didn't even know it existed. I just saw it, and the thumbnail on Amazon... You know, I'm not super into the VR thing, mm-hmm. and I skipped over it lots and lots of times thinking, ugh, God, you know, like, yeah, stupid. Yeah. It took me a while to f- realize it was Robbie Amell, but once I f- yeah. figured out he was in it, I was like, this has to be somewhat decent, and it's on Amazon Prime. Yeah. Why, which- why they didn't put his picture on the front? It was Ingrid's in the sex suit, in the VR goggles, in the bathtub was the thumbnail. Or is it Nora? Mm -mm. No, it was Ingrid. Really? Yeah, in the big suit. And and that was a major, major flaw of this whole show, is that they have phones that pop up in their their finger, but they still have to wear the giant VR from 1995? Yeah. Like, it should be like like contact lenses or something. Yeah. The te- yeah, the technology of that didn't advance like the rest of the stuff in the show. But- totally a miss. Yeah. Like a huge miss. But what I think they did it is because the masses understand what that is, yeah. what VR is. True. So you need like people of any generation to look at it and go, oh, they're in virtual reality. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Miss. It's yeah. a miss. Yeah. It wasn't. And when you think about it, technology, it doesn't hold up. But no. Nah. That's the only thing. Yeah. I'm done. Otherwise, just don't think about it too hard. It's a Yeah. It's sci-fi, but it's not like hardcore sci-fi. No, it's not it's not hard sci-fi and it's a comedy. Mhm. So, I think if you look at it from that perspective, you'll really enjoy it. Mm-hmm. Well, thank you for listening to this episode of Fan Dummies. Please subscribe, rate and write us a review if you haven't already. As always, links to our Patreon, our Facebook group and our merch store will be in the show notes. Yeah. If you want to reach out to us, we are at Fan Dummies on all social media. Thanks for listening. Bye. Bye.